And welcome to some Arca at Homestead. We are here on Monday night, just got home from work, and I'm excited to get out here on track for Homestead, because I love Homestead, but wowie, the, <laughs> the setup is very loose, or maybe the track conditions are just causing everything to oversteer a whole lot, or maybe I just forgot how to drive this place, I don't know, but... <laughs> Wow, especially on the cold tower tires, the cold towers, the cold tires. This thing is unbelievable. There's no grip. So, green, green, green. well, okay. let's see what we can do here. I definitely need more practice. Um, I thought about just doing that thing I do and making this a quote-unquote practice race and not recording it, but. I kind of thought about it, and I'm like, well, that's kind of just the same thing as only recording my successes and making it look like I'm always great and winning all the time, and that is not the case. That's not what racing is. So I'll go ahead and show what's likely to be a struggle here for the first race, and maybe I'll do another video later um, in the week once I figure this out a little bit more, but for now... Kind of stinky. <laughs> Still just really kind of getting my feet under me as I figure out how this is gonna race. So I'm going hot laps on the high side, but I think during the race I'm gonna want to do the line as you're about to see here, where you come down and kind of straddle this seam down here. That's where speed has come from in the past. Uh, I've had success doing that in the past here at Homestead in the Arca car, so I assume that's going to be the same case here, but who knows? I will probably be learning a lot this race because, like I said, still practicing. And also, the guy that is currently in front of me right now, Dylan Alt, is in here, who is Pro Series driver, so I'm not gonna beat that guy. <laughs> I guess I call my dick. Oops. Yeah, I look away for one second. That's how loose this car is. Um, I guess he qualified okay. I mean, I did. I certainly didn't get a three thirty-three four, but I guess that's all right. I'll take that. But. Uh, I don't know how much practicing this is going to help for Nick's race, because I know Nick is probably not going to have the same time of day and everything. Like, I don't know if the car's going to be this crazy. Maybe it will. Then again, maybe it won't. This thing's pretty wild. I saw a tweet about his race. He always puts up a tweet with the thumbnail of his upcoming video the night before he uploads it. And he said it was like, this is, like, the worst race that I've ever done. <laughs> and I think he was talking about his own performance, but <laughs> looking forward to watching that. That's That ought to be really interesting. Um, I guess I qualified okay. All right. Well, that's that feels good. Uh, obviously, I'm the number four. It is 3.1K strength to feel. That's pretty good. That's, that's, I like that. Um... Got home a little earlier from work than I normally do, so maybe that's contributing, as well as the fact that it is still Monday. Might be contributing to the higher participation. Really uh, enjoy that. But uh, I'm probably going to make some mistakes this race that I'll have to learn from. Probably going to get a real serious loose moment at some point. I think really early on, though, you just have to survive because of how crazy this car feels. In fact, I know I said I'm going to run that lower line, but I feel more confident in my ability to hold on to the car running the high line rather than that lower line. So I think I'm going to run the high line the first couple of laps, let the tires warm up, maybe even gain some spots because I do think it might be a little bit faster for the short run, but then I'm going to migrate down. That's kind of the plan right now. That's the end of the session. Alright kicked out and now we get to look at my ugly grape car
color of grapes. And, oh yeah, the settings that I got. I'm going 12 to 1. That's kind of just my standard right now is 12 to 1. I kind of take that for basically everything at this point. Um, steering offset, preferred at negative 15, and then front brake bias. Using a little bit of brakes on entry, so trying to get it pitched as well as I can uh, entering the corners. So, hey, feeling a little bit better now that I qualified okay. We'll see how the race goes, though. Let's get gridded up. 7.9 KI rating Dylan Alt has. Yeah, his car is going to shrink into the distance, I'm sure, doing this one. But hopefully I can watch him long enough to learn something. Here, oh, where's a six going? Six takes the lead! Follow the pace car and the outside car. <laughs> They're the tires. Oh. Make them last the rest of the race. Just pull on over here. No access road for me. Close. Pit road is closed. Catch the pace car. What gear are we starting? I got chat on, right? Okay. It is a second gear start, it looks like. Get all this ready. Oh yeah, no tires, of course. That ready to go. I don't know if warming the brakes up matters, getting those up to temp matters, but oh, I'm gonna do it anyway. Man, I miss my Cheddar's car. I'm just remembering like one of the first races I did in the Cheddar's car was with this combo, and uh, I won one of those races. I liked that car. <laughs> Maybe I'll find another one at some point, or I should probably move on and find something new, but. I need to get rid of stupid purple brake car. <laughs> Find a paint I like. Anyway, there's a race happening. I missed it completely. Single monitor, by the way. Hi. Inside. Keep high. Okay, he's just gonna drift and fry me, I guess. I would like to go. You're in the middle, three wide. Scared the fuck out of me. Clear outside. Clear me though. Ready, unfortunately. Car outside. Clear. Car outside. Still there. Hold your line. Clear up top. Pass him on the low side. I don't either. I think I'm just doing what they do on TV. It's weird because the car's really loose on exit, but it gets kind of tight in center too. So. I might have to keep up with it a little bit. I'm just still learning how this car works, so. If you drive down here, though, you can drive it on edge. If you don't get too sideways, get it on the right rear. So, real talented guys, uh, as you probably see in front of you, I'm sure, are going to be able to go fast and get on the right rear. So, it looks like he's uh, he's doing what I expected would be the line for the race pace. Driving it down to the bottom. He's actually taking the, com the actual bottom bottom line. So maybe I'll do a little bit of that more. Highland's going to give you that crazy run off, but it's also going to wear the tires more. So, I do want to try to avoid that. If possible. Horrendous jump off the start, though. That was so bad. I just, I didn't, I just missed it because I have to look up to the left. And he went pretty early. I thought the guy behind was gonna. Take it low. So, I was prepared to run the high line. I don't want to change my mind. 
too late. Kind of have to prepare yourself, brace yourself for the corners. So you know where you need to be. Outside. Clear outside if you want it. He's going to take this run, it looks like. Still there, inside. Stay high with the car on the low side. Clear inside. Getting sideways, but we're fine. He's going to go around. We got a run, but I'm not going to take it. There's no reason to do a uh, back and forth for too long. Just let him uh, race away in front of us. Car outside. Wow, it's a balancing go, go. act, driving this thing. Clear high. So I'm going to let him continue running the high side. Maybe his tires will get burned off doing that. And uh, we'll be able to pass him later. We'll, we'll find out. Nice little gap, though. Back to fourth. I like that. Tires have come in a little bit, so it's a little less scary, but it obviously is still quite a handful. So I will have to pay attention. Who knows? Maybe, uh... The car is so loose that even running that high line, you can get on the right rear enough. Maybe that A won't uh, fall off real hard. Maybe he's going to go catch the leader. It will be very interesting to see. Speaking of the leader, he's not driving away quite like I expected him to. Although, he could just be running to a pace, knowing that he doesn't do need to do any more than what he's doing now. No reason to. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Feels good though, still love this track. Even when it's a handful like this, very fun track still. I couldn't hate you, Homestead. Even if you are trying to kill me. Even if I can't run the high line like I want to. <laughs> I could. Clearly it's working for the 8 right now, but I do think in the long run it's probably going to be better not to. Don't. I think both uh, the 8 and I both got a little loose there. <laughs> I I just I'm trying to drive harder. But you really gotta be brave. Putting the gas into it. And enough gas, not uh, it's not too much. And being able to counter steer, balance it. Some hard work. Could end up hurting me not getting on the gas enough and driving off the right rear enough. Uh, it could be by underdriving it, putting it on the right front, and then I'm just going to lose speed over time. See how well I'm doing by the end of this thing. Eight's kind of driving off again. He's stuck up there on the high line. I do think the one's probably just running to a pace. I don't think he's pushing very much. Probably just having a nice drive, waiting for his victory. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. That was a good corner.
almost feels like the car is tightening up a little bit, which is not necessarily what I want, but it is making the car more stable for the moment. So, silver linings, I guess? Lap times are pretty consistent. Still okay behind us, plenty of room back there. Seen the wall up there? It looked like he lost a bunch of speed. Yes, he is. Uh oh, that's another thing that can happen if you're on in that high line. All right, on the white line. See, in the past you've kind of wanted. Oops. Wow, that just didn't stop sliding. And the past you've kind of wanted to uh, get on the. Kind of crease right there and kind of straddle that seam. But I don't think you need any help getting this thing turned. I think it does enough turning on its own as is. We're going to come up here. I'm going to try it. We're going to see what it feels like. Feels like fun. And look how much faster it is, too. Well, I'm going to try it. Since we got the guy behind us already doing it, I don't think we're going to fall off any harder than he will. And uh, the only chance I have at getting any more spots is going to be if I'm obviously going faster than he is. So, best thing I can do right now is go up here to go faster, I guess. Man, it's difficult to do, though. I don't know if it's really working enough, however. Oh, he's in the wall again back there. I think we just got second place a little more secure. Ah, oh, he's still back there. Oh, yeah, even the running the high line for that little bit of time really tightened this thing up. Look at him go, he's getting smaller in the distance. He didn't drive away quite as quickly as I thought he would, but he certainly is doing it, though. That car's tight. Don't think I wanted to do that high line thing I did. Don't think that served me well. It was fast for a couple of laps, but I uh, traded a couple of fast laps for the rest of the race probably being just a tad slower. I don't know if that's a good exchange. The exchange, the exchange rates for this are ridiculous. Can't believe. Just total ripoff. It's like you go to the arcade and you uh, win 5,000 tickets and you get a piece of bubble gum. <laughs> it's like kind of half opened already because it's been sitting in the arcade glass little container for probably like five years at one point they were going to give it to a kid he changed his mind after he like picked it up and sniffed it so that's uh that's the exchange we got doing the high line so I think I'm going to stay down here so, as fun as the high line is Tell you who is having fun is the number one driving off into the sunset that has already set. Although actually he's probably pretty bored. <laughs> it's like why aren't fast people in here? Why am I the only fast person in here? I'm sure he would prefer to have someone to race against. So the eight is falling off. However, I think that nine is charging forward. So. We're going to have to watch that gap, I think. Stop it. Stop getting loose on exit. 
Still got a little over 10 to go. The captain, Strickland, behind is now. Can't, uh, can't get too complacent. A one second gap isn't really all that significant. Man, Strickland, what the heck was that, man? Uh oh. Almost had trouble, it sounds like. It's been pretty quiet so far. I assume, uh, until now it's been pretty good find out what uh, happened in the incidents afterward. You can't, you can't bump draft me, holy shit. Oh, it's bump drafting. I know, but, I mean, you go up there when I gotta run, I gotta, I gotta go. It's time! You, no way, you can never run. I fucking cleared you off a two on the bottom. You only had to run because you fucking had more momentum off the top side. I was really running like three cents faster. You're an idiot. Oh, at the that's I why room. I broke that to you, right? Because I didn't have a run. I must have. Well, you only had a run because you ran the top side. I literally had chased you down from like three seconds back. You definitely didn't have a quote unquote run. You just didn't want to live. Uh oh. Cool, you had a run coming off of one corner because you ran the top side. Now I've gapped you by almost a second in the last. Like, cool. Cool being dude, you're real smart. Uh, yeah, okay, buddy. Like, you, anything you say, you're, you're the best. <laughs> um, I may not be the best, but I'm at least better than you, so I know I'm going oh. You ain't better than me. Oh, here we go. Yeah, is that why I just chased you down from like three seconds back and I've, and I've got you now? You're almost two seconds behind me after two laps. That's the second to last in case you can't do math. I love feeding the trolls. You're a fucking idiot. Suck a dick, bitch. I'm sorry. You did what for that. exactly? You, you left me behind? Is that what you said? I said, suck us. Uh, I'm gonna turn that chair off. One's enough. We heard him the first. Still going to be arguing. Keep eating it. Come on, bring it. Come on, troll. Hey, yo, what do you mean keep beating it? Hey, yo. Car inside. Still there. Would you like a bump draft, number two? <laughs> I should not. I should not do that. <laughs> <sighs> He's probably like, is it serious? Is he actually offering? Uh, so we got a lap car. It's fun. I want to get up next to him. I really can't believe you turned me into the wall, bro. I guess we'll go up. I know, this race is getting a little out of all of a sudden. Clear. Gosh, left car in the wall. What's happening up there? Okay. The high line, I guess, for this corner. Please turn car, thank you. Lap car is just going to continue being in the way, I guess. Allowing the people behind to catch because he's taking our bottom line. Don't think he realizes that he's doing it though. Hmm. You got five laps to go. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Stay high. Clear. Finally clear the, clear the lap car after wasting a bunch of time. It does seem like the bottom line is maybe even 
just better than the High Line at this point. The car's much tighter since I had to run the High Line again. Got loose there though, he's gonna get on my inside. Still there. Clear. It's almost up into the wall. Just gonna have to take this run. Outside. Still there. Clear outside. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Hold your line. Hold us off, though. Clear outside if you want to. All right. Okay, Thompson. The next car is Barrow. Outside, you've got two laps to go. Outside, you're huh. clear. Certainly is faster down there, at least for us. Maybe uh, if you don't tear your tires off, it's better up there. Now this is working. Ah, that's not working. Oh my god, stop. Jesus, this thing's freaking out on me. Well, at least I got it on the right rear. Positives, right? It's weird because it's so tight through center and then you get to exit and it just starts turning. Yeah, good one there, Dylan. I wish I hadn't fucked up you, but... You probably throw it at me anyway, to be honest. Thank you. Good race, good win. Like, I feel like I kept pace with you the whole race, just like, I had the gap, obviously, but... I P4. That's exactly where I was supposed to finish. So... Uh, uh, okay, okay. That guy's still very mad. Solid work. Your voice makes me cringe. I had the gap. I don't know. I just saved enough tires. Good way, still in the room. It's kind of uncalled for, man. Uh. 65, 73, yeah, it was definitely bad on the right front. I don't think I ever should have migrated up top. I kind of had to when the lap car was there. But uh, even just experimenting up there, I could tell just going up there for a couple laps just really lit the right front on fire. So. <laughs> so, uh, I will take a top five. I definitely didn't expect to do so well without being able to practice quite so much. So, I uh, lost a couple spots there. Uh, the one was always going to win. The two always had a great chance because uh, he's also like, yeah, 5.8. So, he's pretty high up there as well. I might have been able to hold off the nine if I didn't have to uh, avoid the lap car a little bit, but I also could have just handled it better. So, um,. We will go out and see the incidents. Sixteen, we got someone, I guess, uh, self-spinning, it looks like. Yeah, off the corner. Very easy to do. I'm surprised it took till lap sixteen. And there's the duality of it. Super loose on exit, crazy tight if you enter too hard. Pretty interesting to drive. Oh man, we've got a whole cluster going on right there. 12 takes it off the wall and hits the 7, unfortunately. The 3 getting loose. 
Oh my goodness. Somehow keeps it going straight. Wow, that's it. That race is over. We didn't even see uh, what those guys were upset about. I guess he was bump drafting. <laughs> and uh, it just wasn't hard enough. And then I poked the bear. <laughs> no response. Probably for the best. But, oh, well, that was quick incidents. That'll do it for that race. Uh, like I said, I'll take it. Got ourselves a top five. Finished out our car number. And uh, somewhere around 23, I really, I guess we're going to gain. Getting close to 5,000. All right. And, uh, of course, it was a clean one as well. Zero incidents the entire field. I guess it uh, makes sense why we got very few incidents then. Hey, that was pretty good. I uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.